Hey everyone, welcome back to the place where we test every single mask in the world, especially YouTube. Your mask. That's right. I will test your mask in my $250,000 lab. Happy to do it as a service to my beautiful, beautiful subscribers. I assume that you're beautiful. Anyways, <laughs> actually I never thought about it. Uh, so very excited today to get a, uh, uh, another package. Uh, just came in literally moments ago and I was like, you know what, Steven? I'm gonna test this sucker right now. So let me pull this open here. Let's put your address down. This is Steven, Steven from Lawrenceville, Georgia. Georgia. That's a, right, am I saying that right? I think that's how you pronounce it, Georgia. No, sorry. Let's read this here. All right, uh, let's see. It says, very helpful videos. Hello, Lloyd, with the emoticon. Like that, need more of that energy. I found your channel back when the pandemic started and since then have binged once every episode, LOL. Wow, that's more than my wife will watch. So do the math. Uh, you're extremely interesting and your nerdy humor is appreciated. Nerdy, wait a sec. So when I was in band, okay, I should probably stop there. <laughs> when I was in band, okay, this is, yeah, in high school, uh, I remember that, uh, you know, the, the, the teacher uh, was like, you know, directly, and, and he's like, oh, we're going to do this themed song or this themed uh, uh, thing with, uh, with all the other bands. Um, and one of the, it was like space, so they did like Star Wars and Star Trek and like, uh, you know, 2001 Space Odyssey. And one of the things they did was, uh, was Star Trek. And um, we'll just have to, you know, leave it up to the imagination what I was like in high school. Um, but I thought I was pretty cool, to be honest. And uh, so I'm sitting there, you know, and I'm playing the contra bass clarinet represent. Um, and uh, the, the teacher was like, hey, how does this, how does this, how does this Star Trek song go? Like, is, what is this part here? What is it supposed to sound like? Does anyone know? Does anyone know? And everyone was like, oh, Lloyd knows. Lloyd will know. And I was like, I'm not a nerd. Like, why would I watch? I've watched every episode. So you're not supposed to know that. I'm a nerd. In my mind, you're not supposed to know that I'm a nerd. So there, there you go. We'll just, we'll leave it there. Probably something, again, talk to my ther therapist about. All right. Um, and, th and thank you for that, Stephen. I'm genuinely interested uh, in knowing the exact performance level of one of these masks that were the only ones I was able to find at the height of the pandemic. You don't seem to have it on video. I know you focus, you're focused on surgical masks, but I've included some KN95s for your and my pleasure. <laughs> this is like... We're a very specific group of people, aren't we? <laughs> so here are the Ernst. Oh yeah, I forgot I have that camera masks. And I can tell you just by looking at it that these are not gonna pass. We'll talk about why in a second, but let's get it in the clamper. Okay, that's, wow, that is a cheap mask right there. Let's get it in the clamper. Ernst, never heard of that. Got it clamped. Again, the PFE machine, there's a PFE machine, particulate filtration efficiency machine. If you want to find out how this guy works, check out that link. We're doing the NIOSH N95 test, which is the same test that um, the KN95 calls for. So why is this a fake mask? You two at home can also identify fake KN95s. Um, so number one, they've got uh, the FDA logo and the, on the packaging. The FDA does not allow you to put the packet, uh, their logo on packaging because it looks like what? An endorsement, right? Even if you were an FDA approved device, which isn't a thing for masks, by the way, um, they wouldn't let you put it on there. Secondly, that is the old FDA's logo. So anyone who's watched any of these videos knows that that's probably not gonna do well because it's using the old FDA logo. And ah, let's take a look. You think I looked, I looked, I did. I'm sorry, I ruined the surprise. 41%, Stephen, 41%, 41.792, 41 41.792. That's not a good mask. I just had the uh, legit uh, 3M Aura mask in here and it did a 99.3 uh, or something like that. So you can tell the machine is running just great. <laughs> uh, it's the, uh, the, fil the uh, filter that's not very good. Um, and I'll actually switch back here and just show this mask, it's super weird. So it's like, I've, I've never seen this before. You can, wow, this is insane. They're so cheap that they didn't uh, sonic weld the edges. 
So let's try it on. Oh man, it's gonna break. I, I'm like. Look at that. First of all, oh yeah, it's doing the, you know, Dumbo thing. And then like, yeah, look at that. Wow, worst mask. This guy, Ernst Mask, gets the prize. Ding! This is the worst mask I think I've ever tested in terms of just like overall. Like overall, it's just real horrible. Wow, that's, that's so bad. Steven, thank you. You earned a like, and I wish I could like and subscribe to you, my friend, because this, this made my day. All right, thank you guys so much for watching this. I appreciate it. I do like likes and subscribes, but if you want to be like Steven, you can send me a mask I haven't tested before. Check out the link of masks I have tested, and we'll put that below. And then there's my actual address. That's right. If you follow that address in Google, uh, in Google you'll show up here. This is probably a bad idea actually, but it's literally here. You can show up here and you'd be like, hey, bring me the masks. Uh, I may not be here. I don't know. All right. Thank you guys so much. I appreciate it. And I will catch you on the next test.